Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel of Luke. The Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. This is an extraordinarily important passage, especially for those of us who are involved in ministry, especially, especially for those of us who do ministry full time. The fact is that God is real. And because God is real, the promises he makes us in scripture and throughout history are also real. So when our Lord says in the New Testament that we will do even greater things than he did while he was here on earth, he means it. And it's true. He literally tells his disciples to go out to preach the gospel and baptize people and to exercise demons and to heal those who are wounded. And the fact that he invites mere mortals to do these extraordinary things is a big deal. Imagine yourself being one of those disciples or even present day being gifted with the, the power through the name of Jesus to heal people. That's extraordinary and it can be very exciting. But Jesus cautions us, do not get overly excited about those things. Those things have their place, they have their purpose. There's a reason that God gives us those things. But the thing to be truly excited about, the thing to be truly passionate about is getting to heaven, is being a baptized Christian and bringing others into that salvation. In the lives of the saints, we see extraordinary things happen and we see extraordinary things happening even today. But let us not allow those things to distract us from the true prize, which is an eternity with God in heaven. Rather, allow these amazing and extraordinary things that happen here on earth to elevate our hearts and minds to a higher truth. And that truth has a name and his name is Jesus Christ. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to today's Awaken the Word.